Hello everybody, Brendan from c21teaching.com.au. In today's Flip to Teacher professional learning video, we're going to continue our series on Microsoft OneNote using Office 365. Today we're actually going to get started on putting in some content and setting up our notebook ready to use. Now one of the first things I want to do is show you how to actually pin the ribbon open. You can see here by default it, it minimizes so that we've got more white space. I personally prefer to have it open and fully visible. So what I'm going to do to make sure that the ribbon stays actually fully open, I'll click on the Home tab and over here on the right hand side there's a pin that allows that locks the ribbon in the expanded position and you can see now that if I start typing down here the ribbon has stayed open if I click on the collapse button it recollapses the ribbon until I go back and redo that so that's the first thing that I do obviously that's personal preference okay now I said in the previous video that I want you to think about OneNote as being a ring binder a, a, a folder lever arch folder with different sections uh, each section would be a divider in your folder and then within each section are the pages. So what I've done is I've got a notebook called Stage 3. This is my folder. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a new section now for each of my KLAs. All I need to do is give my sections names so that I know what each section is going to be about. So you've got an untitled section by default. I'm going to give that a name. I'm going to call that English. To create a new section, I very simply click on the plus section button. I give that a new name, Mathematics, and you can see how that prop goes through. Now, each of those will have a different color because as you would remember from the Lever Arch folders, the dividers you get are all different colors. Now, within each section, we then have pages. Now, if you've got a Lever Arch folder and you've got a tab, you know, a divider for English, within that, you probably would want different sub pages. So you might have English uh, handwriting if you're a primary school teacher. You might have, you might want a sub area for in, uh, writing, you might want a sub area for spelling or for Shakespeare or whatever it is that you need for your context. So I'm going to come to this, this column here. This is my pages column and I'm going to right click on the untitled page. Now when you create a new page you need to make sure that you are in the correct section for that page. So I'm in the English section and I want to set up a page uh, talking about let's go with uh, let's go with Shakespeare so within my English section I'm going to create a spelling uh, page because that is one of the things we need to do with stage three I'm going to create a new page which will be called handwriting I'll create a new page which will be called text types and you can go through that depending on what you need to do so within my stage three notebook I have a section for English. Within my section for English, I have pages set up so far for three topics. One of my topics is text types. Now, you would know that there are different types of text types, which means that for convenience sake, for organization sake, I'm going to want sub pages. I'm going to want to further divide the text types section, uh, the text type page. So what I can do is I can right click on the text types in the pages column that gives me a list of options. If I select new page, that actually creates a brand new page within that subtype. Uh, I'm going to call that recount. And then what I need to do is click on recount and select increase indent. So what that does is it adds it to the text types page as a sub page. Now you can of course just do a page for each text type. That's up to you how you organize that, but this is how you can do the indented pages if that's the way that you want to go. So let's go through this again with another, another option. I have my stage three notebook. I have my English, my mathematics and my history sections. And then within English, I have my different pages. I'm going to go to history now. Now I know that within my stage three history syllabus, there are two particular topics that I have to cover. One of them is Australia as a nation, and the other one is the Australian colonies. So you can see that I set up now my pages within my history section for those two topics. Within the Australian colonies section, I will probably want to set up additional sub pages to deal with the various components of that. And that's entirely up to you how you structure that. But you can see how you can up, uh, add in additional sections. So if I want to do a sub page now for uh, the Australian colonies, uh, let's do one, for example, for First Fleet. I will right click on the Australian colonies 
I'll select a new page. I will give that a heading of the first fleet. I will then right click on the first fleet and go indent page. And now that is a sub page of the Australian colonies. From there, you can start adding your actual content and we'll move on to that in the next video. That's all the time we have for in this video, so thank you for watching. For more helpful videos like this one, please head to c21teaching.com.au and click on the FTPL videos link. Until next time, thank you very much.